what is that moderate view or middle of the way view that's missing from um, um, you know at least our lives here in, in America today? Mm -hmm. But throughout the world, I think it's missing. Absolutely. I think it's it, it, yeah. that's why Islam is so misunderstood. That's right. Is because the middle way, which represents so much more of Islam and, and the culture and civilization, we had great architects and poets and artists yeah. and people who were inspired by the Islamic tradition because basically they understood the meaning and the symbolic significance mm -hmm. behind what they were doing. So it wasn't just a literal interpretation which many conservative Muslims have today. And I think that's what we're up against is trying to, uh, that's what we're hoping to counteract mm -hmm. and present another point of view. That view's fine, mm -hmm. but well, there's another view too. Yes. And so this is what the Muslim view is trying to to represent is that the significance of the meaning behind the forms that we talk about and, and then to do that in a moderate way but because see, I, I think uh, I think the reason why the moderate view is not necessarily heard is because the attention that the media focuses on is it always tends to be the extreme and that's what sells papers that's what makes the news and so the majority of the Muslims are moderate they're not out there doing these crazy things, but they don't, uh, you know, warrant the attention from from exactly. people in the in the media. And so, what often happens then is that the extreme uh, perspective takes up and represents all the rest of us. Exactly, and, and then and that's, that's why, not us. Yeah, and people misunderstand Islam, thinking that that is all there is to Islam. The situation so, becomes very polarized. Very polarized, yes. exactly. And then and that's exactly what the middle view is: is to not be polarized, right? Not to be either of the right or the left, not to be exactly. of either the east or the west, but of both. Yeah. Of both. And right. to be centered, because it's in the center that you find the oneness of God, which is our belief yes. and the most important belief of the Muslims. So as moderate, and a lot of people don't like the word moderate, so that's why maybe we can the say middle, middle community. Middle, yeah. middle, I like middle. The middle and, community. And it's important to point out that we are, at least here, I think, and, and probably most of us, represent that middle in a wonderful way because we're not exclusively American only or West only, and we're not uh, exclusively Muslim only. Mm -hmm. We're really a combination of both. That's you know? right. And so how do you separate that out, especially when you were you know, born and raised in this country? You are a part of this fabric, you know, and you can't separate out what your beliefs in God are because, you know, uh, there, there's this, uh, there's this expectation that you pick one or the other. You're mm -hmm. either for us or against us kind of mentality. Yeah, that's and what we've been up against, but yeah, actually, yes. It's, it's uh, one of the, the beauties of living in America is that we do have freedom of religious That's expression right. and we are able to keep our faith yes. uh, in the way we haven't found. I mean, I lived in a Muslim country for many years and, for instance, the translation of the Quran I did would never have been published yeah. in right. those countries. That's right. But in America, we have the freedom to express ourselves. And oh, yeah. So it was published here. So there are many advantages for the middle <clears throat> way sure. uh, to be in America and also how we relate to people of other faith because yes. we're a minority here right. yeah. in other countries Muslim countries we're the majority yeah. but how are we in a minority situation going to relate and then the if we if we're treated well by the majority people then how come then we need to speak out against the the uh, discrimination yes, in right. Muslim countries against the minority group. Yeah. Right. I want to too, remember that the Quran does tell us that the peoples of the book are people that deserve respect yes. and admiration, and I think people that we can work with, and I think people for, that we can model some behavior that we could use. For instance, uh, what comes to mind spontaneously is Catholic charities, which doesn't ask whether you're Catholic or, or mm -hmm. believing or anything. Mm -hmm. They're there they're to help those people who cannot survive without your assistance. And if you know the Muslims, again, so much of the Quran tells us that uh, we need to protect the, the widow and those, those people who aren't able to take care of themselves. And to the extent that we can be involved in, in helping them, uh, you know, I think it would be a very useful thing, and a very Islamic thing to do, and a very American thing. Yeah, except, exactly. for, except for abortion, right? Catholic charities uh, will not help you if you're pregnant or um, and need an abortion for whatever reason. Is that true? I, d I don't know. Well, I think that so. Islam yeah. it is yeah. true. So because that is against their particular religious right. doctrine. Right. Well, for instance, but if we have, we have a food pantry called the Seville Food Pantry here in Chicago. Right. Well, we will not give out canned foods of pork, mm -hmm. yeah. for instance, mm -hmm. because that's against our religious mm -hmm. tradition. Mm -hmm. 
but we give bread and canned goods to anyone, you know, who comes. And it doesn't matter if we don't ask, are you Muslim or what? Right. Yeah. So that's the same idea as and the Catholic the, charities. That's right. But there's certain things that are against our religious principles, and so we're not going to then, um, you know, give that pork products to someone else. No. Well, yeah. we cannot give things that are forbidden to us, to other people. That's but right. there's so many wholesome foods. Exactly. That we can get exactly. Yeah. I mean, the, we get the most it. delicious paneer of breads you know, and yeah. bagels and sweets and wonderful things that we give uh, to anyone in the neighborhood who comes here. I'm hungry. So I think, <laughs> <laughs> so I think yeah, yeah, the moderate, uh, I think the uh, middle way, uh, the middle community, is a very large part of the Muslim world. And I think just as uh, Najma said at the beginning, the press hasn't been interested in it because we're just the average, you know, Joe the plumbers. We're not <laughs> we're the not headlines no, we're doing not. anti social news. <laughs> right, Mahomet the plumber. Yeah, we're not making headlines doing no, no. anti social exactly. things. Exactly. Exactly. Also, we're just we don't have people. the funding. We're not being funded by some other country. That's right. You know, we're just doing this ourselves as women working together, trying to, to work with our neighbors, to reach out to other people, to get feedback from other people. We want to know as much what you're thinking as, as you want to know what we're thinking. That's, that's right. That's what we're here for. It's yeah. an we're exchange. Here. It's a an dialogue. exchange. Yeah. A dialogue yeah. and a, a conversation, really. To let us know. And without being funded by just doing it ourselves. And that way we have the freedom to say the, what we want to say and what we feel and to promote what we hope is a, a middle point of view, which as such is a, a compassionate and tolerant point of view, mm -hmm. and to keep that and remember that essentially American democracy and what we learn in America is not inconsistent with this sense of compassion That's and right. understanding exactly. and well-being. So being a Muslim American is in no way a contradiction. No. It's in fact something that they comport very well together. Yeah, be, and I think it's a blessing actually to it, have been born exactly. and yeah. raised in yeah. the exactly. West. Exactly. Because you're not subjected to any one point of view. Mm -hmm. You're exposed to so many varied points mm -hmm. of view. And, and actually, that enhances your faith. Spiritually, yes, intellectually, in all ways. Yeah, because it's not an imposed thing on you. It's exactly. a choice exactly. that you have chosen to believe in the oneness of God. Yes. And so that's a great blessing in our point of view. Whereas sure. if you live in Muslim countries, uh, you know, that's just, everyone just assumes that that's what you believe. But you haven't found that out for yourself. Right. And according to Al-Ghazali, if you don't find out this for yourself, you cannot say, I believe in the oneness of God because my parents did. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. It has to be a personal to, journey. A personal right. journey right. and a personal choice. And it's much easier somehow here to understand that and to to make that kind of a choice. Uh, and we can understand that Islam will be inflected differently in different cultures. Yet, because we have the Quran and because we have the Hadith, we can always look to those sources and understand those things. And we can live in a multi-ethnic society and we can respect others. But we can also, we have our sources and those sources are common to all of us in the Muslim world. That's right. That's what keeps us united. And that's yes. our foundation. That's exactly. our foundation. Yeah, exactly. but the interpretation of those is what gets different countries in trouble and different people who interpret, you know. And, and the centuries so, of misinterpretation. Exactly. Right. And I think that's a hegemony that we must try and, and negate. You know? well, we're well, not, but we're not here to like, you know, really put down other people's views. We're here just to tell you what our views are and to listen to what you have to say. But Absolutely. it's important that women, we have more women scholars yes. in areas of Quran and Hadith so that, you know, the yes. women's view, which has so far not been heard, exactly. would also you know, be heard. I think that's really important. And that's part of the middle way. That's the middle right. way, actually, if you read the tafsirs, very often it refers to being a just society. Mm -hmm. So a just community. Mm -hmm. And a community that is just does not mistreat the women or the children or the men. Exactly. They're all, you know, you, or you're the fair and or the elderly. Right. Right. You, have fa you have a sense of fairness and justice towards all. Mm -hmm. Not any other race, racial or ethnic group. Exactly, exactly. And it's basically to follow the golden rule. Yeah. That's what that yeah. middle community yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we just uh, do unto others as they would, you know, we would have them do unto us. That would be our kind of other kind of motto. Yes. 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 She says we're done. <laughs>